Hello, every pony, and welcome back to Panda Fridays, where we proceed to check out all the fanfics that are not pony related. Why? Duh. Because even though the show might be not might be over, it doesn't mean that I have to be over. And besides, plenty of fanfics to talk about, including this one that was recommended to me by one uh, renegade, the unicorn, on my Discord. And it's a doozy. It's a Ben 10 fic. Fine by me. From Ultimate Alien, again, fine. That's a crossover with Sikion no Quasar. Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! I'm oh, sorry, but Sikion no Quasar is one of the lower form of anime I've ever seen in my life. And believe me, I have seen plenty. I even want, want Suggle to Yoko. If this one kind of ranks right up there with its other brethren as anime that just made me want to turn it off. Not only is it a low brow harem anime, but it's all of that premise is just squeaky. But I suppose somebody's got to read at least one chapter of this bullshit. And it might as well be me. So without further ado, please enjoy Dust to Ten Hero Sigmata. Enjoy. Dustin Ten Hero Sigmata. By Dustin Hogan. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? What? Oh, for Pete's sake! So, not only is this a hair man, man, not only is this a fanfic where the main character gets all the moves, but it's a self-insured piece of shit! Oh! You're gonna make me love you! Go super! What was that? Go super! Excuse me a second. I'll be right back. And what's your problem, good sir? Well, you're making fun of this guy for doing a self-insert fanfic when all he wants to do is be part of the world and the universes he loves so much. Stop! <laughs> People, you can be a part of the world that you love so much without being a blatant self-insert. If you want to be a part of the world and the story and the characters that you love so much, then make an OC. Don't make him you. Make him an original character. Make him somebody that shines and has depth and personality. And is it just you put into the universe? Because otherwise, it's not going to turn out to be like what asshole says. Oh, oh you're so alive. <laughs> that you just want to be a part of your world. No, it's going to come off that you have this fetish for these characters that you just want to get on. So, no mercy. I mean, it's not like this fanfic's going to do something stupid like, say, Give me a butt so give me the harems already and tell me who each of these characters are going along with. That would just be bad writing. Dustin harems include Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found a fanfic that's got going to get any mercy from me. People, this is bad writing. You do not go off and your first Author's note telling me how, who is going to get together with who. This, this takes me out of the action because now I don't care. I have no suspense. There's no drama to be had. I'm like, oh, it's a. I'm like, is this person going to get back, get together with this character? Oh, let me check the harem page. Well. Unless he can't get any worse, it's not like we're going to spend another paragraph telling me exactly what the italics, you know, thoughts 
quotation marks, normal speeds, underline, underline, WHAT YOU LEARN HOW TO WRITE! Okay, people, I know what Mike had said in a recent blog, but I want to let you know right now, you readers out there, you are not idiots. You are not dumb. You can figure these things out on your own. I believe in you. So, authors, you do not need to spend a few minutes trying to tell us what is normal speech, thoughts, yelling, alien database, terminology, or a foreign language. We can come up with that conclusion to ourselves. Oh god, I'm not even I'm not even started this stupid thing and already I found so many problems. Bell what? Dustin, Ben, nigga Dustin. <sighs> this is another problem with putting in, in OCs. So badly done OCs there are nothing more self insert. When you start trying to make it a bigger yourself. Again, this is not all they just want to put themselves into the story. This is the author has no life. His life is a pathetic, meandering bit of droll, and he just wants to put himself in it because his life is boring. And he wants to seem bigger than himself. Kibbles, Julie, and Chef were investigating a quartz portal found in a lab by the Forever Knights. We were wondering what the. Ow! Ow! That POV shift out first thing. Oh, that hurt. We were wondering what the. For I'm a wanderer, he's a wanderer, I'm a wanderer, and I'm around, around, around. What the Forever Knights would want this for. And here is Legend Bringer out on the. 1029 mark. He looks good, and we're all waiting. And yes, he actually put down F O R E as in four as in a golfing terminology. So I assume that this is actually a golfing pit pick. Once it breakers angling up, he pulls back, he hits, and it rolls on the green. Once it breaker now has to shrug because he has no idea what the rules of golf are. He just decided to do this gag, so. Please do not mock him for not having an idea of what this boring sport is all about. Thank you. And to those those five golf fans who are listening to this video, hello. We appreciate your business. Why those tin cans want this is beyond me. Ben said, No, 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 no. no. This is Yuri not being Sasuke. Don't care what to do, Sasuke. I was thinking the same thing, Kibble said with a nod. Whoever that is! Ship, ship! Ship nod when she agreed. And out of warning, the portal activates for no reason. They couldn't find nothing to hold on to and got sunk into the portal. Wow, what an impressive hang hanging sentence. Th th that thing's just hanging on right there. St. Minerolf Academy. At St. Mayor County, in the campus church, were two individuals both praying. The first had dark red hair and wore a uniform consisting of a white blouse, blue skirt, skirt covered a white shirt that wore knee-high socks and black boots. Beside her, she's wearing an outfit! Next person was wearing a deep blue dark hair, kind of look on her face with a slightly older look of her friend that wore a white socks, red ribbon, red ribbon, still a black one around her back. I've never said this before. I said it again, and I'll keep saying this, but... <sighs> Don't spend a paragraph describing what your character looks like. It was worth mentioning that her breasts seemed to be three times the size of her friends, since the fabric of her blouse seemed to be stretched out. <sighs> People... I apologize to everyone out there with far better sensibilities than I am. I will not show this fanfic any mercy. And if you are fans of this Sikion no Quasar, 
Vic, that is your prerogative. Go ahead and enjoy and let your heart's content. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to kill this son of a bitch. The redhead once stood up, opening her eyes to reveal her purple orbs as he remembered the words of her caregiver. Come, Maifu. Tomo, it's time to pray. The red girl, known as Maifu, has a sad look on her face. She remembered being carried by the man who she saw as her father in church. Wonderful. An icon is also a window to eternity. Capacitor this icon, see the word of God. He told him as he pre Oh, I'm sorry, D. I'm sorry. I, I want to fix that, but I can't. One day, Uncle Tomo's father left, leaving only letter to say, please don't worry about me. And don't you forget about me. <laughs> Not Meifu. Where could you have gone? She wanted to herself as she took out the watch that left her. All right, Tomo, it's time to go. She told her friend, picking out the bag, looking over her shoulder, saw Tomo and apparently fall asleep. I really can't believe this girl. She said, pulling out her candle. Wake up. Her sword style? No, 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 I, I think they're referring to the wooden bamboo sword. But that's not what a bamboo sword is called! It's called a shinai! Look, this author apparently got all his knowledge from Japan from reading a badly done English to Japanese translator! Oh, so you mean normal fan subs, huh? Later. A few minutes later, the two were walking back to the main canvas. You're so mean, Mephaeton, said Tomo, rubbing her head while her breast giggled. And see, I, I, I'm sorry, see, repeat that line again. While her breast giggled. Who oh, hates the idea that I'm making fun of a guy's self insert? Yeah. Come here. This is what you're defending. Th th this right here. Don't you defend this type of shit again? You know, I always knew that some of these anime girls' um, breasts would become so huge that um, not only would they uh, become ridiculous in size, but they would also gain sentience. It's a punishment out of love, she called back. Who called back? Tumble Ed in confusion. You've been asked for school for three days. You have to be on time for the first day of your return. She told her friends last sister as she went out not lying to you. Then uncle used to say, being the daughter of headmaster, you shouldn't be late or absent from school. She continued smiling. Thinking about it for a moment, Tomo put on a big warm smile on her face and waved. Thank you, Mephiyu Chan. She said as her friend laugh. However, they noticed a young woman around their age in a long black dress that looks like they were part of religious wear. She had brown hair and two locks of hair sticking out. Green eyes and she had another outfit! She was currently tending to the flower beds that didn't seem to have any express on her face. There were a group of two or a seed of new students or something. The first one was a young man with brown hair, hazel with nut eyes, with green teeth, sir, black seeds, blue trees, swords of the seas, and I see one with a green gauntlet and it's Ben! There! I saved you! A sentence! Sison was a man looking at someone like him, but gray sir, purple white person, the first one in blue jeans. What was a boy about their age? Green coat, black circle, and number 10 on the side, side blue face, green wrist watch with an hourglass on the face plate. Oh, God. You have an Omnitrix too, huh? Let me guess. It's just as powerful as Ben's, right? No, no, no. It's stronger than Ben's because it was made by. Other aliens that were more advanced, and, oh, let me guess, Dustin, you have the power to control it! You can control Alien X! Ooh, so macho, so powerful and strong! And they say guys like me don't insult the male Gary Stews. I do. I really do. But of course, 
You had the idiots like uh, out there who wrote it for the rest of us to make us look, make us uh, genuine fears look bad. Dust is PLP. Ow! <laughs> See what last? Ow! Ow! What a fitter, will ya? We woke up and we were noticed that we were near what looks like a religious academy. We decided to spot out the place to get some answers when where we are. Kibbles and Nega Dustin put on their human disguises to avoid suspicion. We walked upon we walked hoping to find somebody who spotted a woman around Ben and Julie's age and long black dress to look like they were part of religious wear. Period! Do you speak them? Like green eyes and a cross around her back. She was a monk. We went to ask her where we are, hoping we could, she could help. But then we heard somebody. It was Pike. She wanted to beat the snot out of him. Look, they're going to be boringly meet, uh, meeting up with the other characters. So instead, I'm going to try to help us all figure out just what the F is going on in this little guy's this world with his whole entire stupid F. Then OC and his freaking F self-insert and his Gary Stu abilities. Speaking of wits, hey, loser! Yes? I get that you, as far as you're concerned, so badly done self-inserts are just the bad writer wanting to integrate himself into that world. But, um, how do you explain overpowered Gary Stunis where um, the guy overdoes everything and is so much better than everybody else? That happens. Yeah, that, 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 that happens. But I always thought, what? Don't tell me you're one of those idiots who thought that the term Mary Sue only applied to females. Well, that's what some of those other people used to say. <laughs> you're an idiot. And those other guys who call Twilight Sparkle a Mary Sue and call... So many other girls on Mary Sue, they're idiots too. Because they only use it to call out characters that they don't like. It has become such a wasted term. Such an overused term that its power is lost. So people like you and so many others want to excuse this. But what were your other excuses for bad writing? Well, maybe he has a bad family. I don't think so. Well, maybe he has... Nope. So, he's just a little brat who does... Wants to ba bang girls, huh? Yep. But, who knows? Maybe this isn't such a stupid plot. I mean... Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? While, uh, the, plot, while the plot's trying to not bore me. Oh, let's see. Dustin Ten was forced into the Ben Ten universe after he was sucked into his TV. He and Ben both had the Omnitrix and heroes. He's hot-headed but means well. He was adopted by Max. And Ben is jealous of his power over the Omnitrix because he's better. Ha! Do it! Told ya! His Omnitrix allows him to evolve Ultimate and even beyond Ultimate into Mega. We apologize for ripping off Digimon. Serious, growing up names, rather than later. He also found out he was the child of Karen Honjo and Taya Honjo and has two sisters. I wish I knew who those guys were so I could actually give a fuck. Taya Honjo both of so Zoid and magic powers are turning him how to use Zoid because of Zoid powers for girls are getting attracted to him and he also could become a girl. Dear Mike and I know you and I hate each other's guts, but I just want to say, you are no longer the most obsessed, self-focused, overpowered idiot I've ever met in my life. My apologies for ever calling you that. And I do hope that you can see this story and see that there are, in fact, people who suck more than you do. Love, legend bringer. And girls are attracted to him just by seeing him. 
I want to make a joke about oh boo hoo, but I'm too disgusted to do it. Then we got Kibbles, Kib that's his current girlfriend, and it's optimistic, naive, and they met when he went to high school, and I quite frankly don't care. It sounds like she's does some sort of she says like some sort of dream girlfriend. Then we got Nigga Dustin, who's a fusion of Mewtwo DNA. Fanfic? Fanfic series? You and I have got to have words. Um, I would just like to make this statement that um, as of right now, I think I found a new target. Please tell me this guy's an asshole because I need this. I... Future DNA? Really? What? I, I I need to talk to somebody. I just need to talk to somebody for a moment. Okay, I just talked to one of my supervisors, and they have basically pointed out this is one of the worst stupider things I've ever seen in my life. Well. At least he's not some sort of god uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card dealer, dealer and able to wield awesome, awesome uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and something like that. That would just be stupid. Yep. There we go. And. He has evil monsters based off of Big Bad Beelbar's characters from his friend. Right, so I could tell that the man writing this fanfic apparently never read um, The Idiot's Guide to Not Sucking! Meanwhile, what about, meanwhile, how's everything going? Oh, I obviously missed part of the fic. Well, at least the rest of this is not like the comic, right? I I get it, I get it. Soma is a mixture of breast milk, life energy, and yada yada yada, drawn from the breast. And this is somebody's kink. But seriously, this cannot be just the entire thing, the, the entire part, first part of manga. I mean, let me check. Yes! It is just the first chapter of the manga. I quit. Nope, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Just... <clears throat> People, don't just copy the first episode or the first chapter of anything. If you want me to pay attention, because this, that's just lazy. That was one down, thousands more to go.